Today, June 28th, 2012, 30 million American people gave thanks. And it's because the Supreme Court this morning upheld the health care law that will provide those 30 million people with access to affordable health insurance. Today is a proud day for America and for the values that we cherish because on this day, our nation's highest court has reaffirmed that America is a country that works for everybody, not just a privileged few. A little more than two years ago, we heard the call of Americans struggling to pay for health care, parents who had to choose between keeping their children healthy and putting food on the table, and seniors who couldn't afford life-saving medications. And so we passed, and President Obama signed into law the Affordable Care Act. And already, millions of Americans are reaping the benefits of this law. If you don't want Americans, I say to colleagues here, to have affordable health coverage, then you ought to give yours back. That's what I say. The Republican hypocrisy is stunning. As members of Congress, these politicians have access, all of us, to world-class health care. But they're determined to take away the lifeline that health reform law offers to families who really need it. Let's be clear. Without this law, insurers could once again restrict benefits, cancel coverage when people get sick, and refuse care to people with pre-existing conditions. The Republicans want to return to the days when it was legal for insurers to turn away sick children, to say, sorry, you're not covered by insurance, no matter how sick you are, can't give you any help. And I say to my Republican colleagues, stop attacking Americans, America's health care. The American people want us to move forward and work together to lower costs and make sure that no American gets left behind. That's what the American people deserve from us. They sent us here.